So I think that's really interesting how she got picked, but I mean, she was like, oh, I'm so glad there's another girl. Can you show me how to do this? So it was kind of cool to be able to show her some things. If you're curious about the events surrounding Lisa Kelly on Ice Road Truckers, you've landed on the right page. Some devoted fans find themselves pondering the fate of Lisa from Ice Road Truckers and questioning if she met an untimely demise. Others are keen to uncover details about her current whereabouts. Fret not, as we're here to furnish you with all the information you crave about her. Stick with us throughout this video and we'll ensure you're thoroughly updated. So, let's get started. Before transforming into a seasoned semi-truck driver and television sensation, Lisa Kelly graced the world in 1980 in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Her early years were spent in Grand Rapids until the age of six, when her family uprooted to a quaint Sterling, Alaska farm. Adjusting swiftly to the new rural lifestyle, Lisa immersed herself in activities like horseback riding and developed a passion for dirt bikes from an early age. However, the most valuable lessons were gleaned from her father during these formative years. Lisa fondly recalls being raised on a farm, crediting her father for instilling a strong work ethic that fueled her commitment to always give her best. After a brief stint on the family farm, Lisa decided to pursue higher education and returned to Grand Rapids to attend Cornerstone University. However, her academic journey at the university was short-lived, lasting only one semester. Lisa candidly expressed that the college experience did not align with her aspirations. Even though Lisa reveled in her college experience, her academic pursuits were cut short by a newfound passion for outdoor activities. Upon returning to Alaska, she set her sights on a career driving trucks eagerly seeking employment with various transportation companies. However, her initial attempts were met with disappointment as she faced rejection, with some dismissing her based on her delicate-looking appearance. It was only when Lisa reached out to the haulage giant Carly Transportation that she secured her first break in the trucking world. Navigating a male-dominated field proved challenging for Lisa, who had to overcome skepticism from her peers. Reflecting on her early days, she remarked, I had to work twice as hard. I had to pull my weight and everybody else's and get the job done as fast or faster. Despite lacking a commercial driver's license initially, Lisa entered the trucking scene at Carlisle as a courier driver. Undeterred by this setback, she persisted in honing her skills, practicing heavy-duty driving in her company's premises. Upon officially obtaining her license, Lisa transitioned to handling local routes before eventually conquering the icy expanses of the famed ice roads, establishing herself as an expert in the field. Lisa Kelly started her on-again, off-again stint on the History Channel's Ice Road Truckers during Season 3 of the show in 2009. Lisa Kelly's first appearance in the show became a fan favorite in the following years. During her tenure on Ice Road Truckers, Lisa Kelly forged a partnership with the seasoned trucker Daryl Ward, resulting in the establishment of Polar Industries. Tragically, Ward's life was cut short in August 2016, when the plane he was piloting crashed near a Montana airport. Undeterred by the loss, Lisa continued her journey on the show for two more seasons, showcasing her resilience and determination. She also ventured into the series spin-off Ice Road Truckers' Deadliest Roads, which took her to the challenging terrain of the Himalayas. In the aftermath of these experiences, Lisa made a unique decision by adopting a furry co-pilot puppy named Rampur Jackson. Despite being the designated dog tender, Lisa's Indian assistant Tashi played a significant role in caring for the canine companion. Notably, Lisa Kelly held the distinction of being the sole female trucker on the series until season 5. Subsequently, Maya Sieber joined the ranks, marking a significant moment in the show's history. In Season 10, another trailblazer, Stephanie Steph Custance, joined the crew, contributing to the evolving landscape of women in the male-dominated realm of ice road trucking. The specifics of Lisa Kelly's departure from ice road truckers during Season 6 remain shrouded in mystery, as neither Kelly nor anyone associated with the show provided official comments on the matter. The public eye, with its relentless coverage of her professional and personal life, may have prompted the decision to step back temporarily.
This hiatus, which marked her most significant break from the show, was reportedly a period of rest and rejuvenation for Lisa. She returned to the program in Season 7, making periodic appearances until Season 11. In Season 9, Lisa worked for the new company of fellow Ice Road Trucker and Ice Road Trucker's star, Daryl Ward. Unfortunately, Ward met a tragic end at the age of 52 in a 2016 plane crash where he served as the pilot. The fate of the Lisa Kelly and Daryl Ward Trucking Company remains largely unknown, with little to no online mention. It is plausible to assume that the company may have ceased operations following Ward's untimely death. Speaking on Daryl Ward's passing, Overdrive Online reported Lisa expressing doubt about her ability to run the company without him, offering a possible explanation for the business's closure. In 2014, Lisa Kelly made an appearance in the Ice Road Truckers spin-off series, Ice Road Truckers Canada. As the main series concluded its run in 2017, many of the stars, including Lisa Kelly, gradually faded from the celebrity spotlight. By the show's conclusion, Lisa had left an indelible mark, appearing in a total of 84 episodes. As of May 2021, Lisa Kelly is indeed still active in the trucking world. In an interview with Overdrive, she disclosed that she now works for a different logistics supplier than the one she was associated with during her time on Ice Road Truckers. Her current route remains reminiscent of her past endeavors, traversing the northern route from Kenai, Alaska to Prudhoe Bay, covering approximately 1,500 miles. The journey typically takes around 32 hours one way, assuming a smooth ride without any hiccups. Despite her departure from the show, Lisa maintains connections with former Ice Road Trucker star and logger Todd Dewey. Additionally, chance encounters with fellow IRT alumni Jack Jesse and Phil Prom, who still drive for Carlisle, occur from time to time. In a January 2022 feature by Hot Cars, Lisa Kelly expressed concerns about lingering snow and extended winters, sometimes stretching into April. While she acknowledged the potential impact on her work, she remained optimistic about ongoing road improvement efforts in the region. Notably, recent enhancements include the addition of paving and tarmacs to previously bare sections, making driving conditions less hazardous. However, Kelly pointed out that these improved roads can still present challenges, especially during the spring. As for her truck, Lisa currently operates a Freightliner Coronado truck, which she has named the 122 SD. The SD designation stands for Severe Duty, emphasizing its suitability for navigating treacherous conditions like ice roads. While the model typically features the same engine as its predecessor, the Cascadia, with options of up to 600 horsepower and 2,050 pounds per foot of torque, the specific engine in Lisa's vehicle remains undisclosed. The Coronado distinguishes itself from the Cascadia with less bodywork, minimizing scraping on rough terrains. During her Ice Road Truckers days, Lisa drove a variety of trucks, with Kenworths often featured prominently. As for returning to television, Lisa Kelly has expressed openness to returning to the screen, and even considers Ice Road Truckers on hiatus rather than cancelled. However, the pandemic's impact may have altered the show's intended temporary break from the airwaves, potentially leading to a more permanent situation. Contrary to persistent rumors, Lisa Kelly is very much alive and thriving. Born on December 8, 1980, she is currently 41 years old. When not navigating icy roads, Lisa enjoys a diverse range of activities in her free time, including riding motorcycles, engaging in motocross, horseback riding, hang gliding, and snowboarding. Lisa's adventurous spirit extends beyond Alaska, and she has also driven trucks in various international locations, including India, Bolivia, and Peru. Despite the inherent dangers of ice road trucking, the financial rewards are substantial, with an average salary in this field reaching $250,000. Aside from her trucking endeavors, Lisa Kelly has expanded her portfolio, making appearances on the cover of Overdrive and participating in glamorous photo shoots. She currently resides in Wasilla, Alaska, with her husband, Traves Kelly, a dirt bike rider and full Aleut native Alaskan. Their household also includes a miniature horse named Rocky and a feline companion named Tansy. Moreover, Lisa Kelly's financial success is evident in her estimated net worth of $600,000. This figure reflects not only her earnings from ice road trucking, 
but also income generated from her appearances on Ice Road Truckers. While the prospect of her return to the show remains uncertain, Lisa continues to lead a dynamic and fulfilling life, embracing a variety of interests and adventures. That's all for today. If you are interested in more, have a look at this video. Thank you for watching, and make sure to subscribe.